Hello, everyone. All right, the road to KubeCon here. This is our final stop on the road to KubeCon. We have a special guest today. Brought in the big guns, the mama bear, the lady, the lady boss, the you know that the the big. I can, I'm so excited I can't even speak. That's how good it is. She's the GM of the Cloud Cloud Native Computing Foundation. This Priyanka Sharma spotlight starts now. What would you think of <laughs> special effects, huh? Cool. Wow, wow! I was like, "Am I in a theater?" Dan Pop in full force. That was awesome. <laughs> Priyanka, welcome. Before we get started, I have to do the disclaimer here, right? This mm -hmm. is an official live stream of the CNCF, and as such, is subject to the CNCF code of conduct. Please do not add anything to the chat or questions that be in violation of that code of conduct. Basically, please be respectful of all of your fellow participants and presenters. Welcome to Spotlight, Priyanka. Thank you so much for having me, Pop. I am honored to be here. Last stop on your show. So on our channel, the Cloud Native TV, again, I'll kind of give you the background. Priyanka and I had some discussions earlier, and I'm like, look, let's get the literal best of the best in Cloud Native and, and do this for the community, by the community. And you have been so supportive, and we love you to death. And so, again, appreciate you being so supportive of Cloud Native TV. So that being said, KubeCon, it's our World Cup. It's our Super Bowl. It's our World Series. It's all of those wrapped up into one, right? And so yep. I'm loving the fact we'll be in person. So I know, like, again, we were at the OSS Summit, right? And uh, the precautions that were made were, um, you know, again, to keep people safe. And I love how much, you know, we're, we're doing that. So talk to me about, like, again, like all the, the great things the CNCF are going to do to keep people safe as we're, as we're doing. Yes, absolutely. Health and safety was the number one concern as we started preparing for this show in the hopes that we could have an in-person element to it. There was no way we were going to proceed if we didn't have all our ducks aligned in a row. And I have to say, it's the Linux Foundation events team that gets the credit for really, really running this process like very, very well. So there are some key aspects to how to attend safely. First of all, uh, before attending, assess your level of risk. We have a great um, video interview with um, Dr. Joe Solon Solonicchio, I always say his last name wrong, um, who is a CDC official and he talks to us about just how to decide whether an event is right for you to attend or not. A lot of it depends on, you know, your friends and family at home who come close, uh, come in close contact to you in addition to your own personal health. So think, uh, think of your pod, think of your community. Um, and by the way, I'm saying is that-, that Dr. Joe on at the door right now? Is that, is that, I just heard her doorbell. I'm just kidding. You heard the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Dr. Joe. Hey. No, <laughs> that's my doggo, Ollie. He's coming back from his walk. Really excited. Sorry about that. No. But uh, no, so the reason I bring this up first and foremost is because you can still sign up. You can show up at the door in Los Angeles and get a ticket uh, if, if there are tickets available, which they should be at least some. Anywho, so that's the first piece. Second, once you've made the decision to attend, there are some requirements. Number one, you have to be vac fully vaccinated to attend. And there's a slew of vaccines that are approved based on CDC guidelines, the, actually WHO guidelines. Um, so make sure that you fit that category. Second is that we are requiring masks throughout the event. And I think that will go a really long way in protecting people even if, even in the most extreme of circumstances. So we're gonna all be vaccinated, we're all going to be masked, and we'll get wristbands to show how much level of proximity we're comfortable with, with um, fellow attendees. So I might have a green uh, wristband which says, yeah, you can, you can come closer, that's okay. Somebody may have a red one, so please respect their uh, need for space and stay at least six feet apart. So we've gone, and there's also daily temperature checks and checks on, you know, how are you feeling? So these are the things that we have set in place. I think they're a good, good set of rules to make sure we all have a good time. I think the number one will come down to how we 
Team Cloud Native behave as a community and respect these rules, respect each other, and do the right thing so that we can be there, have a great time for five days, and get back to the creativity, the socialization, the fun that we all deserve. Awesome. And again, it's if if the OSS summit was any type of kind of indication, it was it was amazing because again, it was unobtrusive. You had an app, you came in, you filled out a survey, you went in. I'm I'm assuming it's probably the same process here. Yep. So really excited about it. You know, again, yeah. I'll I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that if I want to hug folks, because I want to hug everybody, I'll be make sure I look <laughs> at the bands and do what we need to do here. Mm -hmm. So free hugs if you want them. Just <laughs> All right. I want to, sorry, if I may, I want to give Of course, a this is of your pieces. show. This is your network. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> the network execs here. I'm just kidding. Um, I have two pieces of advice for anyone attending. Number one is pick a mask that you can wear all day or bring a bunch that you can recycle through. Because sometimes like there were people who chose masks. They were like, you know, oh, my ear is hurting after a while or my chin's itching after a while. So this is a very like small thing, but it's important test some masks, get get a bunch with you so that you can wear what's most comfortable. So that's number one. Um, with that said, though, like, you know, don't do fake masks. Like a mesh is not a mask, as an example. Anywho, second point is go now into the emails that are coming from the team and look through the clear app and the instructions there. So because and it's really I think it's really useful to do it a few days in advance. I was a late skate at Open Source Summit and like 20 minutes before the show, I'm like trying to figure it out. And it's like, oh my gosh, so stressful. Don't be like me. <laughs> be better <laughs> and do the app stuff now so you don't have to carry your physical vaccination card as well. So there we go. Some sage <laughs> advice from the GM, the CNCF. Okay. So mass, mass <laughs> over. Let's, let's get to the good stuff, right? Let's just talk yes. about it. KubeCon itself. I mean, you've been going forever, right? Oh. I'm sorry. There's plates. There's, oh. They're getting lower and lower all the time here. This is wonderful. Okay, I thought that was on my I'm side. I live. I live right near JFK, so I was like, whatever. So. No, this okay. This weekend is Fleet Week in San Francisco, and I think it's the fighter jets. There's like no other explanation. Or I'm Armageddon. I so might be folks, gone. <laughs> Cloud Native TV has actually rented the Blue Angels. They're going right above Priyanka's house. All big, big time. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about, again, let's talk about KubeCon, KubeCon itself. We're going for a bunch yes. of years. What do you, you know, like, why do you think it's so popular for, you know, in the cloud native space? Like, you know, what, what's your take on it? Yeah, absolutely. So I've been attending KubeCon since 2016. Uh, and I was super bummed that I've missed the very first one. Um, so I like to think that Team Cloud Native is very resilient and our resilient resilience is the power of us. Us together do big, great things. The interesting thing about Team Cloud Native is that this definition of us has changed every year, every six months since I've been involved in 2015, which was like the beginning of the foundation, right? And the reason I think KubeCon Cloud Native Cons are so popular is because at every stage of that journey, these events have spoken to the people that come that are part of us. So back in the day, the first KubeCon was, I think, 300 people. Uh, the one I attended was 700, and that was like considered a big show. And at the same time, it was very intimate. I was spending all my time with these, you know, sages, these wizards of systems engineering and learning and having such a great time. And then over the t over time, as years progressed, more and more folks joined us, and there were different kinds of activities. There was more uh, official learning and development training, things like that. There was much more like uh, nuanced activities, think, and all of that. Uh, and the sponsors came out in big full force. And which, by the way, I love the sponsor hall. It's like the funnest place. And so every year, I see the event has evolved to the needs of the community. Uh, and you've seen it. Nothing has been a better example than the great pandemic of 2020 and 2021. We have, as you know, have been evolving as fast as possible to adapt to the needs of the community. So one is one reason why KubeCon Cloud NativeCon is the show, in my opinion, is that it is a manifestation of who we are. The second piece, I would say, is that while we have all been changing and evolving, just and KubeCons have been doing that with us, one thing has stayed the same, and that is the culture of Team Cloud Native, our ethos, who we are has stayed the same as we have scaled in audience. And that's awesome. 
when I went to the first KubeCon, when it was 700 people, it was the warm and fuzzy feels. And I feel the same when I meet people now in the bigger KubeCon, Cloud Native Cons. So I think KubeCons are just, they define, they represent who we are, they show what's the best of us and give us a chance to come together. But that, and do you, do you think like the, we gotta make sure that also, look, there's a lot of folks that again, like probably won't be in person. And again, yes. it's uh, like the experience for the virtual, I, and I've seen the platform, this platform last couple, you know, has been fantastic. Yeah. So let's talk about the experience for the virtual. Like yes. how does that, you know, how does that sum up? Yes, absolutely. For those who may have attended KubeCon, Cloud Native Con EU, which was in May, you already know what the experience is going to be like. It's the same platform meeting play. Um, and there's, you know, there's all the sessions, there's stuff available on demand after. And then there's all the gamification, the sponsor booth, get things, enjoy yourself. At the same time, it's still paired with Slack, which is where all of the community can hang out and spend time together. And there's a sizable chunk of people who will be attending online and doing all the things we did last time. Like I'm doing my Zoom happy hours. I'm even doing like a Zoom coffee. I don't even drink coffee, but I'm doing a morning session. Um, and so it's gonna be a lot of interaction, a lot of ab ability to meet new people and have the have a robust platform just like we did last time. And again, just a shameless plug, All every single day we'll be doing cloud native recaps. We actually have a booth at yes at the show is it's going to be really cool like you know remember like e had those like red carpets we're on the red carpet <laughs> we're going to be talking to folks we're going to have some fun there'll be all your favorites we'll, you know cat will be there myself um chris short shout out to chris short yes. to be doing some stuff we got a bunch of folks duffy of course so let, let's talk i'm gonna you know i'm gonna kind of ask this question so also i think yes. you know kubecon's amazing as we know and a big shout out to the program committee we'll get to them in a second in the co-chairs but yes. let's talk about the co-located events all this week we you know yes. um we've been you know we talked i talked to the security you know uh colos i'm co-chairing the ebpf day you all check that out see an ebpf day but the um the other thing was like you know and cat talked to wasom and promcon today let's talk about the co-located events how special they are Oh my goodness, yes. I think the co-located events are a representation of all the growth in the cloud native ecosystem. Uh, the colos day, colo days are, as you know, they are like topic specific. There's an EBPF day, there's a WASM day, there is a um, supply chain security day. There's all kinds of events, right? And they show the areas of focus where, or uh, that people are doing that are team cloud native members who are like now focusing on, hey, let me improve security for the world. Hey, eBPF is a good partner for all the story that comes out of cloud native. And so what we are seeing is a technology verticalization almost in these co-located events. And that shows how much we're growing up and how much our, uh, how much the cloud native computing paradigm has spread around the world because now people need to get into the details and these colos are an avenue to do that. So uh, I absolutely love the colos. I think they're essential and they are a, they are a, an indicator of our growth and success to come in the years. No doubt. And let's give some shout outs to the folks that are in the channel here. I see Marino here. What's up, Marino? There's Pratish uh, again. Pratish said that he had, let me just put this on screen here. He attended uh, KubeCon EU virtually. Zoom yep. breakouts were amazing. Hold, hold on. There's Blue Angels again. There's Oops. a Blue Angel. <laughs> Sorry. So we planned this, everyone. We planned Obviously. all of this, all this. So, so again, I totally like the the breakout sessions were great because I remember it was a lot of folks, you know, in the community interacting, doing what we do best, making people feel yeah. inclus included. And so I, I really, I really enjoy that. And hallway tracks, as we know, is like near and dear to our hearts. We go in there and we, we, we talk to folks that are, that are kind of attending. So they feel welcome. So I, I, I love that. So let me ask you this. And I know it's hard, right? You, you know, like I can't tell you which one is my cloud, cloud native TV's favorite, but I can tell you know, which, what are you looking forward to? I'm sure you're looking forward to the whole everything, but what are some of the things that are kind of top of mind for you? I know, I knew you were going to ask me this. And I was like, the question is, what is not my favorite? Nothing. <laughs> um, no. So I, you know, just from a personal experience standpoint, this is, I've been in this job for over a year, close to a year and a half now, but this is going to be my first in-person 
debut in the community, being on stage as general manager in front of all these amazing people. And that is just, it's giving me goosebumps. I'm a little nervous, but I am so happy to finally get to that point. So that's one, and it's very self-centered, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but then when we think, look, look at the entire show, right? I think the Colo days, I'm glad you brought them up because I highly encourage anyone, if you're coming to LA anyway, if you're doing the event, come two days early, go to the Colos, you'll get to deep dive and it's worth it. That's number one. Uh, I'm going to give, I think, a keynote for the Cloud Native Data Management Day. And I think I've been asked to do like a sprinkling of things here and there. So I'll be around. So let's say hello. It's also, Colo days are also nice in that they're not as jam packed as you know, Wednesday, Thursday in particular. So it's a good time to like, you know, ease in. So highly recommend. Second, when you look at all the keynotes and uh, topics that are out there, each keynote is awesome, of course. Uh, I personally am really looking forward to um, Paris and one more person's talk on uh, sustainability of the Kubernetes ecosystem. And she will discuss just how important it is for us to keep building on this, this culture that is ours, right? That powers us and keep paying it forward by contributing, by communicating, by getting people in. Um, and I think that's an important talk to hear and then hopefully find it in your hearts and wallets and all of that to start contributing more. Uh, I think I'm also really looking forward to uh, Frederick and Alan's talk on uh, security and the SBOM. Uh, it's pretty cool because Alan about Dr. Actually... Alan Friedman, right? Yes, shout, exactly. Shout out to Dr. Alan, good friend of mine. So yeah. exactly, and yeah. like he's like kind of a somebody in my perspective, and he's coming to KubeCon. He's talking to all of us, give, sharing the government perspective too. So I think it's a really useful. It's going to be a really useful session, um, and then of course the end the the end user keynotes are really critical because they show again that evolution in our ecosystem, the growth and the depth in which people are utilizing cloud native. So hi, highly uh, recommend attending those. Besides that, I mean, all attendee party, I want to see each and every one of you. We are going to partay. Uh, I also want to encourage that, you know, this is the first hybrid event. So remember that. Remember that you're, uh, when you're in person, know that there's there's maybe like, you know, there's thousands of you here, but there are tens of thousands who are also with you in the experience. So there are areas where you can go to and participate in something virtual. For example, come to my happy hours, which anybody can participate in. You can be in your hotel room or in the quiet areas, log on, and then you're connected to the virtual as well as in person. And I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to see how that feels. So those are just some quick thoughts on highlights, but everything's going to be awesome. Have a blast. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> no doubt. We got some questions here. So one's from yes. Reno, it's virtualized uh, 6IX. It's what are some ways vir visual, virtual attendees get the most out of KubeCon? I think you mentioned a couple. Are there hacks to get swag as virtual attendee? Very um, self-serving, yeah. Reno. <laughs> That's funny. No, there's definitely a lot of stuff going on. There's I actually had a whole list of, there's a bunch of like virtual games and activities that are like gamified, like you get something out of it. Um, so look through those. And to the best of my knowledge, the virtual boots by the sponsors are also a place where you could just be like, hey, listen, I'm interested in your service, but I'm also interested in your swag. <laughs> so those cough, cough, cystic, cystic uh, booth up. <laughs> I'm sorry, say that out loud, sorry, good. <laughs> Do you folks have some cool swag uh, pop at the booth? Do you know? I might I'm make sure an appearance you. at the booth. I mean, I don't well, know. I'm going to be all around. I mean, there'll be a lot of stuff. There'll be cracking stuff. There might be some yeah. Falco stuff. Who knows? You never know what you'll you see. Know, you never know. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. So virtually just go make your rounds and you're going to probably get an email that lists all the like interactive things. And most of them are connected to like shred getting. So. So there's another um, kind of thought here, as Pratish said, one of the fun event out of many I'm looking forward to this time is Bug Bash. Um, yes. what do you, we got, any, got anything on that one? Yes, I think that's such a such a good one because it's it's a it's it shows how we can have a great time, have fun, and also pay it forward all in one. And I think uh, the Bug Bash is something I highly recommend everyone attending. It's a, it is what the name suggests, which is people get together and they find bugs and log them. And uh, it's for the uh, projects, a CNCF project. So you're doing them a service. It's all gamified and fun. And it's going to be, you know, like really high energy. 
So highly recommend you do it. It's good for the ecosystem. It's fun. And why not? So we're going to talk about the keynotes here. I mean, every day there's some amazing ones, but I also, let me, let me kind of delve into one thing. I mean, look at the co-chairs again. Another thing is you said, Hey, it's the first time that everybody's going to be together. Yeah. Right. And, and I think even yeah. for the co-chairs, not being able to keynote for these, you know, again, you know, I'm going to mention my boy, Steven Augustus, right. You know, I'm going to mention, you know, Jasmine and, and Constance. Yes. I mean, it's just, yes. I'm, I'm can't wait to be there to see this, like to be able to see them present this and then the people virtually be able to see this as well. This is what we all do best is being in front of the yes. audience and be able to share this energy together. You know, it's yes. hard when you do it virtually. So, you know, so, shout out to the co-chairs. I mean, is there anything you, anything you want to say to your, to your co-chairs for KubeCon? Yes. I think they have all worked so hard to plow through the, the pandemic times and do their best, even when they were not going to get the, you know, the, like, um, positive feedback loop that you get by being in a stage like IRL, right? They still worked hard. They still gave us the best program we could have possibly had the last year. And now, as, as you said, uh, Pop, they get the chance to finally be on a real stage, speak their truth, be seen. And I'm just so happy that this is happening for them. No doubt. Again, pretty, another quick shout out to the events team. Shout out to Lindsay. Yes. You know, but all all of them, incredible. Uh, you know, and it's so professional being like on pro, a couple of program committees this year, Tag Security, yeah. and, and it's incredible. But also like even from the, you know, from the KubeCon perspective, it's just yeah. incredible. The amount of stuff that they have to juggle. I will go oh, on record and say this. CNCF's event team are the greatest in the world. I don't care. The greatest. So, yes. 100%. Yeah. And I think, you know, most often in our communities, the folks who do things like events, who do program committees, they're in the background. This is the time, like, and they never ask for any, like, recognition, any light, nothing. But we owe it to them. We got to shine the light on these wonderful individuals. I can tell you, Vanessa, who leads the um, CNCF events team, has been such a phenomenal partner in this journey. We've done tough stuff together. And this this hybrid event, I will tell you, has been the hardest thing any of us has actually executed. Because not only are we dealing with our own, you know, it's hybrid, it's in person and, and virtual, et cetera, et cetera. We're also de dealing with um, what, what is the what economist called the shortage economy, where there's enough money to go around for things, but labor supply is short physical goods supply is short. Everything is short. The supply chain is totally busted after that uh, thing happened in the Swiss Canal where the ship ever given like uh, got stuck. All those things have real life implications to folks like the events team. And they've made it happen. They've made it work all with a smile on their face. So they deserve the biggest kudos. No doubt. So let's talk about, you know, folks for, for, you know, registration and what, what have you. So like, how do people, you know, if you haven't done it, it's, you know, if there's folks that haven't done it, if they want to register now, like, again, we have it on the screen, you all, there's a link. Yes. Um, but again, if you go, you know, to the website and register right now, virtual or in person, I don't, you know, oh, we'd love to see you do it all, do it, you know, see if we can see you all here. Is there any kind of other kind of tips and tricks for, for this? Or? Yeah. If you forget everything, kubecon.io, just go there and you'll get the links that you need. You can register up to the last minute. And this this year, I'm actually promoting that because we've all had like unique circumstances and sometimes we've wanted to wait before deciding whether I'm gonna like show up somewhere in person or not. And that you might be in that boat. You might be like, you know, ready to assess your risk now and make the decision. So do it, don't hold back. We're ready, we're prepared. So with that being said, I just want to kind of, you know, let me, let me uh, to keep the lights on real quick. I just want you all, if you <laughs> haven't already, please make sure you follow cloudnative.tv in Twitch. Yes. Um, we've had some, you know, it's been incredible. The amount of growth that we've had thus far, we'll continue to do so. We just, we love putting on this, this uh, content for you all. So that being said, we got to close out. Got 25 minutes with the GM. Anybody have any questions, please feel free. Got a couple more minutes, but. What leave, you know, let's, let's, this is the go home right now. What do, what do we want to say? What do we want to tell people right now to get them either virtually or in person, come out to hang out with us? I think I'd say folks, cloud native, the team, team cloud native started off as, you know, stargazers and dreamers who really got together and built this paradigm 
of software development and delivery that is now essential across the world. It's this paradigm that has made every company a tech company. So no matter who you are, no matter where you live, no matter what your day to day looks like, this is useful material for you. And these are great friends to make. So I recommend show up come by, attend in person, attend virtually, do whatever works for you, but don't miss out. This is the wave of the future and you want to be part of this. See that? That's why I would follow Priyanka into hell and back. That being said, oh. this was this was Priyanka Sharma, the GM of the CNCF. My name is Dan Pop. And remember as a community, the spotlight is on you.